Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is my guide to the location of every provisions crate in Everfall. Provisions crate, of course, give cooking ingredients that can only be found in provisions crate, such as milk. Uh, so this one here is just northwest of the town. It's Everfall town right here. So you come here. It's only level 7 monsters here, so this is a pretty easy one. So this is a good place to start. But there are a lot more, so let's get to those. All right, so another provisions crate that's pretty close to Everfall Town. There's a town right there. So we are just uh, southwest a little bit. Boom, let's see what we get this time. Uh, travel ration, bait, string beans. Okay, so it's level 15 monsters around here. And actually, there's a second one in this area, so I'm going to run over there. And uh, while we're doing that, I'll just talk about these crates in general. Um, they take one hour to respawn. So it is a while. It's hard to, uh, can't just, you know, camp one right it's a full hour to respawn but it's good because if you're using your um call back to in has an hour uh reuse time so you can use that to to gauge when stops back up right so here's the second one right here just like that boom milk and salt that's good those are two of the things you definitely want so yeah so right here that's the town so that's where it is again level 15 all right, so now let's head up uh, north and get some up there. All right, and we have a prison's crate up by the uh, Nary Mine, I guess it's called. Yeah, so we're right here. Level 15 monsters you'll have to fight. So yeah, the uh, main mine's down there. Just come up the hill right there. Level 15 monsters, boom. All right, if you go northwest from Canary Mine, so the last one was right here. This one we're up here in this building. Right there, boom. Uh, you have to kill level 17 mobs for this one. Some string beans and some bread bait. There we go. There's a level 17. Yeah, there's another one for the list. All right, so if you uh, continue up uh, northwest, west, I guess, you'll see in this building yet another provisions crate. Uh, also level 17 mobs up around here, I believe. String beans and bread bait again. All right, I'm starting getting sick of string beans. At any rate, there's another one for the list. All right, and if you continue on from the last one, which was here, you go into the cave. Uh, you can see the cave entrance over there. You will find yet another prisoner crate. Better not be beans. There we go, milk. That's what I'm talking about. And side note, extremely unrelated side note on this cave. Of course, level 17 monster still. Um, Saltpeter is in this cave. This right here is Saltpeter. You can let him take that one. Yeah, there's not a lot of places to get saltpeter. So, if you're looking for saltpeter, I'd recommend coming here. But we're worried about prisoner crates, so I'm going to stop talking about saltpeter now. All right, we got one more up in the very northwest corner of Everfall. This uh, northwest section is pretty pretty good. And I'm not sure if this is actually... It looks bigger. Let's see if we get more stuff out of it. Hopefully we do. Yep, yeah, got a lot of stuff there. String beans, milk, wheat, travel rations, energizing travel rations... So this is a good one if you come all the way up here. Obviously, you got to come upstairs. Uh, level 17 stuff in here, much like the last couple. There is like a, an elite or whatever you want to call it in here, but if you can handle the regular level 17, you should be able to handle that one. So yeah, so that's the uh, northwest corner, I believe, covered pretty good. So let's uh, let's move to another part of the zone. Oh, and another side uh, sidebar. This tree gives honey. So if you see a tree like this, give us honey. All right. All right. As we make our way around the zone, we find another provisions crate right here. Uh, this area here itself, there was none in here. I guess you could argue this is part of that. And so we're going to grab this. Then we're going to make our way into this large farm. I expect there to be a couple. Only time will tell. And just a heads up, in this room, there was two uh, level 18s I had to fight at the same time. There's also two of the traditional supply crates. So this is a good spot to come for sure. Just be ready. If you if you don't think you can fight two eight level 18s at the same time, I wouldn't advise it. All right, let's head to the farm and see how many we can get. All right, we are in the farm right about here. Let's zoom out a bit just to get a perspective. There's the town. And the last one I got uh, for perspective was right here. Because I didn't really zoom out to show. So in here, this is kind of like the holy grail. There's a big provision stockpile. There's also a small provisions crate so what do we go to this one 
Wheat, salt, string bean, nice. And we get some bait travel rations, but that's not what we're looking for, right? We're looking for cooking ingredients. Although, you may be looking for other stuff. And of course, level 17 mobs here that you gotta fight. And so yeah, so that's all I've gotten on the farm so far. I'm hoping to find more, but this big farm, I've covered a lot of it. So I'm hoping there's one more in here. If not, then we'll move on. All right, so the next one, there's actually, so this is the big farm we were in. There was actually no more there. There was none in this little settlement. So now we're down in the uh, River Sworn Grotto, where, where it is in relation to town. Uh, level 12 monsters here. And we got a provision crate. Come on, be good to me. What do I want? Salt? No salt. String beans it is, apparently. What does this red pillow mean? I don't know. Probably nothing. So let's uh, poke around here a little more, see if we can find any more. I will be back to let you know. All right, so I found another one in River Sworn Grotto. This one's right here. Give you an idea. The cave is right up there. Once again, level 12 monsters around. Not a big deal. Four milk is nice. So now I think I'm going to go... I'll clear out this building, then I'm going to head into the cave, see if there's any in there. Who knows? All right, found another one. Still in... Uh, River Sworn Grotto here. We're just on the other side. So the cave entrance that I went into, it comes out over here. It's the same cave. Um, and then, So this first building, come in here, boom, provisions crate. And once again, you're looking at level 12, level 13 uh, monsters you got to kill. Yeah, this is a great spot to come. There's three of them up here. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So I'm actually going to go back up to the top part of it. Just double check the buildings up here. And then we'll head down, see what's down here. Hopefully lots of provisions crates. All right, so I have moved on to this area here, Stone Tooth Terrace. It is way over in the far east. Um, so here's the town, just for perspective, follow the road out. And you kind of kind of loop around this way to get at it. Actually, I guess you can come at it from this way. I came at it from this way, which I guess is the hard way. Anyway, if you get up on the battlements here, you'll see a provisions crate. So there's some... Uh, Stairs here, you come up, boom. Provisions crate, just like that. Let's hope there's more. I'll let you know. All right, and this time we found provisions stockpile. Once again, up in the battlement, it's kind of like on the opposite side. Like last time I was up over here, this time I'm up over here. We got, oh, we got salt, beet. Oh, yeah, lots of good stuff in that one. All right, so even if there's no more, we've already found, uh, oh, there's, right here, look at this. This is the spot to come right here, or one of them for sure. All right, I doubt there'll be a fourth, but if there is, I will be back. All right, so now I am over. So this is where I just was. Level 13 mobs here, now I'm over here. Level 12 mobs here. I can see the gates right here, see so come in, boom. Provisions crate, easy peasy, and I am encumbered. All right, so it looks like I'm heading back to town. All right, but there's still more provisions crates out there to find, and I will. All right, so here is our next provision crate. We are in this area, which is, here's this town, so we're south, southeast. Uh, there's actually two relatively close together, so let's grab this one. Then we'll run over to the second one. Oh, got some salt, which is nice. Also, this area is good for blueberries. If you happen to be looking for blueberries, uh, they're there. This is what the blueberries look like. Side note, all right. Now let's head over here, grab the other one. Level 23, level 24 enemies around here. You will, you will likely have to fight them. So, you know, this is higher higher level than any of the other areas I've showed. And I believe there is just the two. Uh, where's the other? Oh, there's some squash here too, for the record, if you need squash. So yeah, like you said, did I not kill the first one? No, okay, there we go. <laughs> Took some damage there, but that's fine. There we go. Second provision crate, milk and cheese bait. All right, so I believe uh, I believe that's all for this area. I will double check and make sure, and then we will move on. We pretty much just got this southeast corner to go. There's a couple of uh, couple areas, and then we will be done. That will be all the provisions crate in Everfall. All right, so our next provision crate is in this bear cave. We are right here. This is where we were in the last one. Here's the town, so we're southeast. Um, this bear is pretty scary. I forget what level it is. I might be able to take it now, but if you're, uh, 23, 
it's really strong for a level 23 just a warning oh and completely unrelated see these right here this is lodestone um if you're a miner i think you need 105 mining for this yeah if you're ever looking for lodestone there's a ton of it up here so there's two there but there's like another four around here somewhere i saw earlier down there there it is down there see there there anyway that was our next provisions crate on to the next area all right so i'm down in uh, the nettle rest graveyard area here in the southeast corner and there actually isn't any provisions crate down here so i believe that is all of them in everfall now i'm sure i missed some and there might be one down in the starting area here but i'm not going back there I've, you know i've done my time there <laughs> so that's it um hopefully you got some value out of this if you did please leave a like consider uh turning that subscribe button from red to gray and uh, I was hoping to do more than one of these. I was hoping to do more than one area. But I just, I don't think I'm going to have time. There's only two days left in the beta. Maybe once it goes live, I will uh, I will do some more of this guy. Wow, I missed like two of my abilities there. Um, once the game's live, I will maybe try to do another one. Let me know in the comments if you want to see uh, this same guide for different zones. I can do it. You know, because you can just follow this guide as you go around the zone. And save yourself a lot of time if you're just looking for provisions crates, right? That's the idea with this guide. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Uh, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.